Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, thank you for joining me. If you feel like, if you enjoy this video and want to subscribe, please do, I would really, really appreciate it. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. I I'm glad to see that you're here and yeah, this is wonderful. I love you all. So this is my completed pages. It's a bit late, I did about 30 pages. I don't know how many books, because I've actually left my book with all the information in it downstairs, because I'm a bit of an idiot that way. However, I will take you through. Well, there's a lot of Halloween stuff, but there's also a lot of colour by number that's not, and some patterns that are not. Obviously, because I do things like Colouropoly, um, and you, you're not always going to get those. So let's have a look. So I did one in this uh, Colour in Heaven Junior. This was last year's, and it was Little Witch's Halloween by Yana Prosperina. And I did this. Now, I didn't do a background. I didn't feel like it. It was just a straight colour. A lot of it is just straight colouring at the moment. Because when I use pencil, I, I, I'm one of those people, I just don't like colouring things more than once. It's not so bad if I'm doing a pencil picture, I don't mind using lots of different layers and blending. I don't mind that. I'm doing one at the moment where I'm using like four different colours on some leaves. But when it comes to if I'm doing a marker, I really don't want to colour over it. So I don't always. Sometimes I do. It, it depends on the picture. But that one was just for fun. So there's that one. And that was just a marker mix. Um, at the moment, other than a complete set of Everblends, um, the Arteza ones, which are trying to escape, I'm pretty much using up all my odds. So, um, I've got the Gerkst ones. I've got oh, who, who, lots of three sets of oh, who, who's. I've got the twin markers from B&M Bargains. I've got the one, the bold me ones, and a lot of them have got a few missing. So I'm just, you know, use, mixing up those sets to try and use up all the different pens. Now I know I don't show you the pens when I have cut, when I finish with them, just simply because I always forget. I put them in a tin and forget. I have done that at some points, <laughs> and I was really interested. If you are interested in seeing what pens I run out of. Let me know. But to be fair, I've got to be honest, Jennifer uses my alcohol markers, my cheap ones. She doesn't use my Everblends. And she doesn't use my Windsor and Newton Pro markers. They're up out of the way. So, But yes, so there's that one. I like that. I like that little book. Let's put that there. I finally did one in Alan Roberts' Beauty of Horror Tricks and Treats. I've had this book for ages and I've never, never, never did one. I like this because you can use the markers in it because it's single sided. And again, it's just one I did with various markers of this witch. This is from the, this one is, I think, from the, one of the Ohuhu sets. It's either from the pastel or the skin tone set, something like chiffon yellow or something, or chiffon lemon. But that's always just various markers. But I do love Alan Roberts stuff, so I hope to be colouring in some more of his soon. I have got a lot of his. In fact, I've got them all, apart from the tarot set. New book last month was 50 Halloween Miniatures um, from Camellia Angel Cover. I like this, it's so cute. I did this one totally in gel pens. I like the fact that it's black background. And this was for Colouropoly, and my Colouropoly prompt was Pumpkin. And I really like it. And like it's just done with various uh, gel pens. Um, mostly scribblicious ones from the works. <coughs> Excuse me. And I really enjoyed that. That was fun to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I am feeling really rough still. I did one from Easy Simple. Oops, just shove it back out. Easy and Simple Flower Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I always do the first one in the book when I'm doing patterns. <coughs> and I did this one, and this was done using those um, acrylic markers from Artix. And I was just wanted to see what they look like. And they're actually not bad. I quite like them. So. Oh, I'm so tired. And that's a, quite a nice one, that, that flesh, fleshy peach colour. It's really nice. I would use that as a, a flesh tone and then maybe lighten it with, with something. There's that one. I did one in Graveyard Girls. 
by Carla Magania and this was a buddy colour with Chelsea over at Chelsea's Creative Escapes. We always do at least one, sometimes two buddy colours a month. I don't think we've got one set up for this month so we'll have to do that Chels. And for once I didn't use all glitters, it was just all markers, but I have put glitter on some bits of it so you can see that the a squirrely thing on the, the grass and on the sky against that lovely colour from the Ohuhu marker set. I did one in Spooky Vibes by uh, Alexandra Francis or Francesi, I don't know how you pronounce the name but this is another cute book and oops it's stuck I did this one and again this was a Coloropoly prompt and the Coloropoly prompt for this one is actually food because she's making breakfast. So yeah, it's quite cute. Again, various markers. For instance, this green is from the Windsor & Newton neons. One did leak over the yellow. Again, they are, a lot of this, uh, there's a fair bit of Windsor & Newton on here to be honest. I have used a few of those. I do like those pens, I need to get more, but the only place I really get them is Hobbycraft. And while I could mail order them, I don't really do that. I like to go in the shop. I could order them from somewhere else, I guess. So, there's that one. And then I got one from Witch's Colouring Book by Uzi Koo. Uzi Koo, I don't know how you pronounce that at all, but I like this book, it's really sweet. Now, as you can see, this was done with pencils. I can't remember which ones now, but it was. Don't know. See how terrible I am? But I enjoyed doing it. I, you know, it was nice. I mean, normally this is the sort of paper I'd use a marker on. But I thought, I, do you know what? I don't want to. I want to use some pencils, so I just can't remember which one it was. However, I need to write them down. I think I might start writing them down. Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson. I love this book and I have pre-ordered the children's one as well, which is out next year. It's actually released in the UK at the same time as uh, The City Among the Stars, which I've also pre-ordered. They're due to be released and arrive the same day. And I did this one. Now, I'm assuming it is technically a double page spread, but I've done it. Just done the one side. I can do that another time. This was done with a mixture of pencils. Um, we've got some Black Widow. In fact, the pink hair, I call Alice pink because we've got a girl at work who has pink hair like that. It's brighter now because she's re-dyed it, but when it fades, it's sort of like that sort of color. Um, and I think I also used the polys maybe. And the background, again, it is a pencil, but I've what I do is to, when I do the backgrounds, if I want them to, to blend them, is instead of using a blender pencil or a stump, I use, I know there's one here somewhere, yeah, here's one from the old mirror set, a alcohol marker, and it blends, it just really smooths it out lovely. So, and I haven't used that end, I've used the widget end, and you can see, the blue on there and I don't worry because I've got so many blending markers because most of them you get them with most sets that I think we use that for blue or purple or black and so I've got ink all over my hands as well but I like that looks nice I do like that book I, I did one from relax with our holiday special for seasons this was a, just a straight colour with some markers and again it was all different ones. We have um, the Ohuhu's um, pastel ones. Um, I think the skin is probably Arteza. The red ones I have no idea. It's probably, I think it's, it might be Gurks. And this again was a prompt for Coloropoly and it was spring. I did have four prompts and the fourth one was draw and colour a bowl of fruit and I cannot draw to save my life so I didn't do it but I've got it again this month, exactly the same prompt, I've got it again so I'm going to actually try and do it at some point. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but I really liked that. That was a nice one to do. It didn't take too long and I really enjoyed it. It's a nice little picture. Then I did one from, finally, again, this is another one. For, this is a Colour Your Hoard 2022 <laughs> uh, because this is Autumn Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee and I had not coloured in this one. And I did this cute little one of the three kittens, three kitties, and their little, little bats, kittens and bats and pumpkins. And again, I used the Ohoohoos. Mostly, it's mostly Ohoohoos. Um, uh, yeah, it would have been mostly the Ohoohoos. Possibly my old set of Artesas as well, because they are around, yeah, the apples were Arteza, I think. And the greens were from lots of different sets to get lots of different greens. But it's so cute and I like this book. And that's the first page. There's no there's no title page. That's unusual. That is unusual. I'm not complaining, I enjoyed it. It was nice, it was fun. Another one for Cully Hall 2022 is one from Lacey Sunshine's Hocus Pocus Colouring Book by Heather Valentin. I like these books and I thought, Can't, I've had these for ages and I've just not done it. Here we go. Various markers again for this one. Um, this was a pastel oh hoo hoo. This was a... I think I used an Everblend in the end because the one I was, was using ran out so I picked up a bit a darker one. Pastels on her eyes, pastel on her lips, various oranges. I think it's two oranges mixed together there. Again, this is a pastel. When I first did it, I wasn't sure what this was. It took me ages to figure out that this is actually her sleeve. <coughs> so I did a very light lavender background and a darker sort of lavender <coughs> um, sleeve. But I like it, it looks really cute. I like that one. Of course, I did one in the Colour in Heaven magazine, which was Bad Girls Halloween Special. Yay! 40 Wonderful Wicked Witchy Designs. And I did this one, which is by Mayumi Ugihara. I just liked it. So again, it's various markers. With some uh, silver gel pen on the book. And I can see where I've actually missed stuff now that I've got the proper light on it. Um, pastel on the book itself because pages are cream. That's that lovely chiffon pink again. I like purple. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's a really, it's a lovely magazine actually. I wish I had, didn't have, I mean, I got so many colouring books. Just trying to colour one picture in all of them <laughs> is, a, it is time consuming. But done. Love it. That one goes there because it's colouring heaven. I did one in Chelsea's and again this was my second buddy colour with Chelsea this month. Is that my tattoo of Iron Man? <laughs> Jennifer's got a thing for transfer tattoos, the, the temporary ones. <laughs> so I bought her a packet of, of Marvel Avengers ones and a packet of dinosaur ones. Um, as you see I've partly got a dinosaur stuff here. And every now and again we go around putting them on. Because, you know, what do you do? She's four. She loves things like that. And we did this one as a buddy colour. Uh, I, lo I, said, I love the one with the girl with the lollipop. Can we do this? Various markers again. Oh, who, who? Um, oh, what the hell are they called? You know, I cannot think. Pastels. Got glitter gel pens on the lollipops. Um, a fair few of them are. There's some Arteza Everblend. I don't think it's not yellow in behind. So. I think this was the Gurkhs red. I'm not actually sure, but uh, I did put some glitter on her dress as well. This is one that I have put a little bit of extra makeup on her, just to, you know, uh, you know, some pencils on her cheeks and her eyes just to make it look a little bit different. But this is a really cute book from Chelsea, and if you are um, a follower of Chelsea's, I do highly recommend go and support her. Either go and get her book from Amazon, or you can go and buy individual images from her Etsy shop. I thought I'd buy the book and have done with it because that's my kind of thing I like to do. But there are some lovely pictures in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this one out and colouring it again this month. 
at Chelsea's Pretty Creations. I wish I could do a colour book, but I can't do it to save my life, so I'm really appreciative of people who can. So thanks, Chelsea, I love your book. I did two in Spellbound, and as you know, we were doing a colour and chatting one, but I am just going to finish that off myself because, ugh, you know. And the two, the one we were working on was this one, and I will just go and finish it off downstairs when I'm ready because all my markers most of my markers are done in all but most of them but in this one I did do oh no I marked that one and didn't do it I did do two I'm sure I did two let me have a look I'm sure I did more than one. Oh, it's only one of those days where I can't find what I've done if anything I know I did two maybe I didn't maybe I'm imagining it I know, I definitely, ooh, yeah, that went through page. Oh yeah, I haven't put a marker in it, I don't know why. I did this old lady, it was one of the very first things I did. I started it in September and finished it in, obviously it's not the best thing. It's not very good at all. <laughs> it's just so much colour and I was just like, oh, I just wanted to finish. I did put some paint, I got a little sponge and did some stippling on her cheeks to make it look like she got a bit of broken veinage going on there. It doesn't look very good. And the second one, I, again, this is, I think this is a great book and I want to colour loads in it. And I will. And then I did one using Jennifer's crayons. These are the twistables. And I just felt like colouring with the crayons. And so I did this one. And yeah, okay, it's crayons. But it was fun and it was easy. And, uh, it did, you know, I just sat there and I didn't have to think about things. And... We sat there together colouring and she was colouring in her book with them and I was colouring in my book and it was really, really nice. So, there you go. Keep that to one side because I've got to finish that one in there because I'm trying to get rid of whips. Now, um, I signed up for Colour Questopia's newsletter and when they do that they send you one image, two copies of one image uh, from one of their books every time they release a new book. <laughs> and this is Christmas Joy and yeah I did this one even though it's I didn't do his face oh it's any flesh colour do you know what I should just do that now there you go <laughs> yeah this is the only Copic I own and I bought it because I wanted a barely beige because I like that for skin so it's a Copic chow there we are now it's finished and yeah it was just so that's just one of the odd ones I do need to get a folder for my colour Christopia one. Okay, we're on to the colour by numbers now, as you might have guessed. So these are just mixed up patterns and pictures. So I did one in Jade Summer's Mandalas. I like doing these. Every month I like to do one, at least one of these. And again, it's various markers. These are probably going to be in the books I'm going to try and finish next, next year, just simply because they're so easy to do. <coughs> um... But yeah, I'll see how many I've got now. I, I will do some. I'm going to put, put these ones in the pile of ones I'm keeping out because when I don't feel like colouring anything difficult, I'll just crack on with those. The one I will definitely be finishing next year is this one. This is a stained glass Egyptian designs. I love anything to do with ancient Egypt. And this colouring book has been so much fun this year for me. I've only got about seven or eight pictures left in it. So um, I try and do now one a month. But I will try and finish, and I'm going to finish it next one, next year easy. <coughs> um, and again, this is various markers from various sets. Hello Zed, cat's just come in. Uh, I just really love this. I think it's beautiful. I love them. When I do finish the book, I will do a full flip through, obviously. I'm more likely to complete pattern books and colour by number books because I just do them in order. With a, a normal colouring book, say Chelsea's Pretty Creations, I might. But some of the others, I don't necessarily like all the pictures, so I'm not going to colour them all. Obviously, the ones where you've got two images, <coughs> I'll colour the first set. And my plan is that once I've coloured the first set, that's the book done. I'm going to cut the pictures out and the cover and put them in a folder, whether it's Jade Summer or whatever. And then give the other half to Jennifer and put it in her craft. She's got a craft colouring drawer where I keep all her colouring books, mostly. Um, and they can go in there and then she can just go and get them when she wants to do them. That's my plan. At least with some of the younger, all the chibi images, the easy ones, because she loves those. That's that one. 
and I probably won't keep these one, the Halloween ones out because although I will start doing them again early part of next year because I do like colouring them <coughs> <coughs> Halloween colour by number by Prachidwan such diva we did two and I did this one and I might finish this one next year they're not difficult they're so simple again various markers I really like this. I like the, I like the fact he's got red wings and purple body. <coughs> I do have to excuse me coughing. I can't help it. I do apologise. And then I did this one. It's a pink cat. <coughs> In a pumpkin. And I just think he's so cute. I, like, I really think that's a really sweet one. And again, it's just all various markers. All this is going to be markers now. Though I do plan on doing some colour numbers at some point with pencils in the new year. Which Fancy by Colour Questopia. This is what I'm going to be finishing next year because it's almost, again, it's one that's almost done. Even though I only got it this year because I just love it. And I did this one out of the main book. Now there are at the back some bonus pages and they, they are Halloween type ones. So I did a couple of those. I did this one. And again, all various markers. Um, what book was that one? This one was from Happy Halloween, black backgrounds. And then I did the bonus one from Halloween Nightmare, colour by number black background, which is this one with the hand. I think that's fantastic. So I did those two. I'll just put these um, cover by number ones down here that I'm not keeping out. I have, you know, and there are some more as well. Just look at how many pages are still in this book. Um, and there are some more, like this Sugar Skull one, there's a witch one there. And and so, so on, so if I, I'm gonna do a page a month, even with that, I, I know I'm gonna finish this book. Yeah, I really love that book. I know, I will keep that one out. I might do another one this month because it's not all Halloween. This is the Halloween Colour by Number for Adults by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. And we did two in here. We did the Happy Halloween R.A.P. one. Various markers again. I just love the different colours. 18, is this out of flesh? 18. Peach. That's a nice one actually, that's a nice colour. I have no idea which one it is. I'll have to find it, but... <coughs> There's that one. And then I did this one, which doesn't have a colour on the background, which is fine by me. And this one took a while. Oh, I missed a bit. I missed a bit of black out there, so... Hang on. I can see where I've missed a bit, and it's on this lip here. As you can see, I'm going to put a bit of paper in there. Just to finish it off on camera. There we have missed that bit. That happens occasionally, especially with colour by numbers. I'll be doing it as I think, oh, I missed a bit there. There we go. Let's finish that bit off. It's done. Now, now it's finished. <laughs> that black pen, by the way, is from my second set of our teasers. Um, black, I, I mean, the thing with black ones is you can just get a whole packet of black markers, can't you? You can even just use Sharpies as well for black on alcohol markers or marker pages. But yeah, I like that. That's that one. Uh, we did one in 50 Halloween Mandala colour by number by Satch and Such Diva. Oh, in fact, I did two by the look of it. So this probably isn't one I'm going to finish next year, but I, I do like it and they are so simple and easy to do. Although I did, when I first did it, I found it a bit, um, spaces were small. <coughs> so I did that one. And again, it's all different markers. And I did this one. I do like it. This is, I mean, these sort of mandala ones, I'm more likely to keep out and do because I like them. Rather than the big pictures. So I might keep that one out and do another one. I like I quite like that. What I am not doing is, um, other than whips, and I've got a few whips left over, as you know, I'm not going to start any more Halloween pages, so I'll be swapping the books in my cart around later and putting the Halloween one back in the on the seasonal piles. 
and then putting the Christmas ones in and then whatever Christmas ones I don't colour in will go underneath the Halloween ones so that I can then, you know, move them around. So I only did one in this this month because obviously I was trying to do as many Halloween pictures because, you know, why not? I just get a bit fed up with Halloween by the end. Christmas, not so much. I always, I love Christmas. I am a Christmassy. I love Christmas more than anything. And I just was, I thought it was a bit odd because you got these just four little bits there that are just plain white. I could have put them in the, the sort of turquoisey green, but <coughs> excuse me, I didn't. Um, again, it's just various markers and they don't have a huge colour palette on those. Okay. The uh, colour by number flowers. Again, these are so simple to do that these will probably will because they're so small. I could do multiples of these a month. So there's a good chance I could finish this up well, out next year. I will be doing at the end of the year, if you're interested in a plans and uh, for 2023 and I'll be showing you my colouring journals. Um, I've never kept a colouring journal but what I've started doing is listing all the pages that I colour every month so I can see what I've done and how many in a book, listing how many colouring books I buy per month just so that I know because I colour in them as well and I need them for hauling. Um, and what I'm going to do is, and then I've got a proper journal which has got, is going to have the end of 2022 stats in it and then it's going to have my 10 books to finish in 2023 in it which are probably all going to be these uh, sort of colouring number ones but that doesn't matter as long as I can finish them off because I need shelf space <laughs> colour by number patterns, again by Jade Summer this one was all very green and again two white bits with no numbers in it for some reason I'm not sure why because they actually do have number one as white so again I probably could have put a dark green in there or the blue but I didn't I just left it so again there's a lot in here still to do but th this one is, is quite a nice book to colour in Christmas band, Christmas mat, Christmas patterns, or just Christmas it's called, colour by number Christmas. I think they're more patterns than anything else. And I did this one because who, you know, I quite like that. I mean, I, that was fun. We just, again, with them, um, uh, some of them ever blend, I think, unfortunately. They've probably gone orange. No, they haven't. Excellent. Yeah, colour by number um, patterns, Christmas patterns, Christmas. They're patterns. They're not pictures. So I would call them Christmas patterns. Not mandalas, but patterns. <laughs> And again, just various markers. I really enjoyed doing that one. It was so cute. Right, so I'm going to take these in and keep them out. And the last book I colored in was a Stained Glass Halloween. This was a new book this year. Colour by Number by Sachin Sachdeva. I bought well, it's a new book to me. I got it this year. So I've only done two in it. So this is not going to be on the 10 books to finish. <coughs> 2022. But I do like it. So I did this one of the pumpkins and uh, this one of the moon and the bats. <coughs> this was not particularly Halloween, I don't think. That one's a cauldron. But next year I will probably I will start doing them in probably September. Um, maybe a bit earlier with the pattern books because I uh, colour my numbers because I like doing them. So that is everything I coloured in the month of October. My favourite, I'm pretty sure it is going to be Tales from the Witch's Cottage because I just love that picture. It's so beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know which one your favourite is. Um, do you like the way I separate out the main, the, the actual pictures from the colour by numbers? Do you want me to mix it up? Because I know some people don't like colour by numbers. I never used to, but I've sort of got into them now as just a way of relaxing. Do you want me to keep it in this format so we have the coloured by numbers at the end and the actual pictures? I mean, they're all pictures, but you know, the actual pictures that tell a story, so witches and, and chubbies at the beginning. And then the, keeping the coloured by numbers separate from the non coloured by numbers is what I'm saying. Not necessarily the patterns from the pictures. So, for instance, if I did one in a pattern book, it'd go before coloured by number but after the rest of them. If that makes any sense. I'm not making any sense and I've talked for 30 minutes. So I'm going to see you very soon in the next video. Bye bye.